Uh, welcome back. We're having a great time here celebrating the incredible broadcasting uh, juggernaut that was Danny Frawley. Uh, we are having a great time. I can jump in just for a second. In the words of Spud, where's the food? I oh, know. Things, <laughs> things have changed here yeah, at Triple M, I tell you. We, wouldn't, we refuse to talk unless the uh, honky dory fish and chips lobbed. Where are they, big nose? Well, the, yeah. Dom, the Dom Camillo pasta, remember that? Oh, oh you oh, were yeah. very good at that. That, that yeah. is your greatest contribution. Yeah, I used to ever. roll up and ever. you guys never ever said thanks once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we ate it all. And it, was, it was nice. It was really nice. six packages. Actually, Spud at eight five. <laughs> given given this is my first exposure to SEN. Yes. Never been on the station before. Uh, happy to have you. And uh, of course, the man who owns and runs the joint to the V eight supercar driver is one of my all time favourites. <laughs> the big Hutchwana. The big Hutchwana. So, given this is my first exposure, when does the pancake parlour? <laughs> oh. <laughs> The, the sponsor of the All Night Appetite. That's the All Night Appetite. When are they coming Don't through? Bring with... that into uh, daylight hours. <laughs> She's your overnight sponsor. Do they ever send anything I'll through? I'll get you to airport parking for nothing if you do your right. If you do the right do, thing. Do they ever send anything down to you and Wispy? No. About up at no. seven in the morning. No. The All Night Appetite. No, I've never. Actually, that's a very good point. I've never seen a pancake. A pancake? Not a single pancake. Just on that, Jim. Obviously, we are being uh, simulcast across the country on a number yes. of platforms, and 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 one of them is the one you just mentioned. We're SEM. hoping. Yes. We're hoping this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, Archie's got to keep his station I was, he's on. Give hey. this, I'm going to set this up on a, on a two for Jim BT, <laughs> but I think you've gone earlier. But um, Spud did often refer to SEN, didn't he, before you then yeah. went and worked there, about the, the ratings they may have had over that's the it. journey to the point where he um, often said to us anyway, and to them yeah. at times, where they weren't even plugged in. Plugged in. He did oh, say that at one stage. But that was this days gone by. Me. I've got... You want me to pull oh. a shot? <laughs> Archie's furnished me with the demographics. Of course he has. <laughs> oh, superb. Anyway. Archie's show will go double the Triple M one because you'll have uh, double the ads in it too. Yeah, there was no question of that. Oh, now, oh, uh, oh boy. Uh, th- this... <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> Bristol just keeping a base covered. <laughs> Love it. You any, any sponsors you need to work in, Bristol? Oh, oh, you, you haven't noticed. They've already done three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was minding my own business on a Saturday morning pre the uh, Saturday rub and my brother Mark rang me and Mark and Spud are great mates and he rang me and said I've, you won't believe this I've received an email from Spud that he shouldn't have sent me <laughs> and I've given it the Standard. go on, go, Standard, go on. which happened daily and he said it, it's, it's about Fox footy and, and it's about it, it's something to do with the makeup he wears on, fo- he didn't even finish. I just said, send that to me. <laughs> <laughs> send that immediately to me. This is my favourite. Anyway, so we got to the ground and I said to Gaz, I said, D- just, just stand by. Spud's got no idea what I'm about to go with. When you're in the media, sometimes you get put into a position that's <laughs> awkward mm. and worse than awkward. But you, you're obligated, you are obligated, Jim. Gary. When something large comes up, you either sit on it and you're not being loyal and true. I've got the, I've got the Twitter page open here. Mm-hmm. I've got Pabsty, Dan Helmet, Kiss Stephanie, Anthony Pinzoni, who I'm not that happy with, but I'll deal with him later. Uh, Simone, <laughs> Louise, not Kevin Sheedy. They're all... What are they saying? They want. They said... Tell JB you can't sit on something no. that big. And they're really commending me for having the courage. Gary, I'm sitting. I'm saying go. And do you want me to go now or not? Because this will reverberate, Danny. Yes. This will reverberate. Spud. Er- Around no. this will reverberate around the whole media landscape. Well, I'm confused. Like nothing you've ever seen. So I think you just get on with it because I don't even know what you're yeah, talking about. I don't know where it's at, but it wouldn't want to do Well, let me say this. I know there are thousands of people right now who want they want and I'm prepared to give. So James No, I'm not prepared to give. I'm gonna tell no, because Something's it's getting beyond a joke <laughs> and they're going, right, this is what's happened. This information has become Across James's desk, and I'm not, and this is a fact, mm. right? And it's in an email form, Gary. And he said Some to me, "Some things are too personal and he, uncomfortable he to said, go with." He said to me, "Is this worth?" I said, "I don't like it." But then I thought about it, and I think we're obligated to do it. So, James, no, you, oh, I'm going with it, then. <laughs> don't. No, I'm not going with it. Go with it. You can't. Right, here we go. This is. Just stand back. It's like WikiLeaks. 
It's, this is what it's like, Damo. That man... This better be good. That man, WikiLeak, whatever his name is... Julian Assange. Whether you hate him or not... He's a genius. He puts information out there in yep. the best interest. And that's what James... <laughs> I think I'm onto this. You've got to do. If your brother's got anything to do with this, JB, I'm going to belt you <laughs> oh. and him. Spud, I am steadfast in saying no. Spud. Well, you better not go with it, Stand mate. by, everyone. Stand if you're in steadfast. Your, if you're in your car, pull over. Mark in Bray saying Shaw, no. This was over a few beers. I don't want this out. Read it. Well, don't get it out. Read it. But I think I have to. Read it! Read and it! And I need, I need to change some names to protect no. some people. No, yes, don't, that's fair enough. I, I need to change what, some names. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. Come on, JB, read it. Come on, this is a big day. No one this is crazy. This is an email. Where's the lawyers? That came across my desk. Yeah, but it came from your brother. And I can't believe the contents of it. You need an injunction, Spud, quickly. I need an injunction. Now. I'm changing names. I'm nervous. Don't change names. I'm worrying. Nervous. You better change names. <laughs> it reads like this. I tell you what, I'm texting your brother. It right reads now. like this. Turn Spud down. <laughs> Susie. Well, I've had to change the name. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Hope you are well. <laughs> Just easing into it. Susie. I have makeup. Oh, no. But I find when I put oh. it on, it is too white looking. Oh, 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 no. The chief. I have used some of the boys' makeup. Oh, this is a disgrace. And it seems a lot darker. Oh, no. I can, tell you what. Can I get some of this darker colour? Oh, chief. I tell you. Or tell me what colour and I will buy some. Oh, no. No, no, Jim. Finish it. Well, I can't finish it. Finish it, Jim. <laughs> Danny Fry. Oh, no. <laughs> this email oh. was wrongly sent. Bloody to was someone wrongly sent. By you to someone who then oh. has sent it to me oh. and Spud. Well, I, tell you I now, ask you, what are we meant to do with this? I want the lawyers Bud. at Fox Sports. Spud. Right, Sydney. You are emailing makeup girls. <laughs> Complaints. <laughs> what's going on? Spud's in, he's emailed that he's taken the time. He's obviously yes. been concerned oh, enough <laughs> yes. to take the time to email the makeup girl to say, "I think I'm looking a bit, a bit white." I, I'll read it again. And then I have makeup. Yes, <laughs> but I find when I put it on, it is too white looking. <laughs> no. Then, I, I have then, used some of the boys. It seems a lot oh, darker. This is yeah. Right. Now that okay. is, that's the one. So yeah, what he's done, Warrior, is he's gone no. home and he's looked at the chief and the boys and he's Don't thought, laugh, Warrior. He's thought, they're using a darker <laughs> shade. I want I want a piece of the dark stuff. The so he then rings the makeup girl and says, those other blokes have got dark. Why haven't I got dark? Can I get some of this darker colour? <laughs> <laughs> or tell me what colour and I will buy Damn. some. I will buy some. <laughs> 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 the, the, the Ballarat Thumper, <laughs> the man who is the fullback of the century for the bloody Spud Farmers, the man who has led the charge for the thrashing machine 18, is buying makeup. Oh, no, 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 Spud. Oh, he cannot believe oh, what I I'm reading. Oh, listen. What? Oh, in my the mind, chief. shut up, my mind's racing. What if Big Plugger, oh. Big Plugger is oh, on the farm, worry to hear about. driving down and he's got Spud oh, buying makeup on no. those, oh, no, Spud. Oh. I can't give me poor a hand old, Poor old Chip's trying to forge a career at Melbourne. He's listening in going, my uncle buys makeup. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not any sort. He doesn't want the light he stuff. He wants some of the dark <laughs> stuff. Listen <laughs> to you, shortly, man. You little puny little prick. Don't you tip in it. Oh, can I just have a little bit of so a spud, spud. Let me say this. What are you looking for? You're looking for like a bronzer or... I had... 
<laughs> it's a hard one to get out of this one. I am quicksand. I am quicksand at the moment. Oh, I, tell you, I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. Where do you go? Do you I'm go, going for a branch. Do you go to David Jones or Maya? Oh, I had some feedback, feedback, feedback on the show that maybe I was a bit pasty looking. In confidence, I sent an email to someone at Fox Sports. And obviously it's done the rounds. And now it's on Twitter and Facebook and it's a disgrace. The Fox Sports lawyers <laughs> not only and the ad break they better not <laughs> only is the potato farmer the yeah. warrior no. going to buy it he wants no. a darker no. I think no. Dunsel's the other boys are darker than I think has no. got his mitts all over this even Rod Law <laughs> I tell you what I, I want what we need to do is get to a break Gary no, I want this feedback is not good from enough. our audience calls Twitter's gone nuts Twitter I need Hutchies. calls one triple three five three. juice got a cop one too haircut, he knew about it haircuts driving haircuts driving <laughs> I know where your little office is, haircut. I'll have nothing better if it's in the paper Tuesday. I'll walk up and a haircut and one, break your neck. Oh. One, triple, three, five, three. We need the oh, Triple M family crap. involved. We need advice. We, we do. Spud can get this, We're, mate. There's a hashtag on Twitter. <laughs> Hash Spud's maker. Oh. <laughs> He's on uh, the chair. He's hooked the warrior. <laughs> He's hooked the warrior. He's had enough, but he's hooked warrior. Who have we got here? Oh, it's Joey Lowe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Big bucket. Oh, no. come on. Boy, seriously, this is, this is dead set. I've, I've worked it out now. I'm doing some work around at his house. I've got about five boys been there for the last three weeks. They reckon Spud spends an hour and a half every morning in the bathroom. So, oh, oh, no. Spud. Spud. This is you, me. These are the warriors you led in the battle. <laughs> Lowy, don't tip into their crap, mate. <laughs> Spray, Come stay on, back you can't, you can't, mate, I can't up for you unbelievably, and I've just flicked on the radio I'm down here at Lee Gary in the man shed, the shed that I'm building for you down at your place that you haven't yep. ever ventured into yet, oh, and I now know why. You put a bit of vanity cupboard in the new shed, I reckon, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, and, that's my favourite. Oh, yeah, that's and, how ripper, I had no idea it was coming. And the funniest bit again is that at, at, after he'd copped a 10-minute battering, he clubbed Warrior. That's <laughs> yeah. it's just, I wrote the same thing down. I hadn't heard Warrior speak no. at once. And then when, he, when he's out of control, he turned and belted up Warrior. And then he's, uh, his great mate, Louis, oh, came on as well. Yeah. So it's that's when that. he's got the guilt. It's when he knows he's done yeah. it. He just he, yep. His whole voice changed. Yeah. 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 How beautiful. As we go to the break, uh, Gary was off limits always. He was terrified of Gaz, mm. and he would he never was, go anywhere not, near him. Not it. terrified, respect. Respectful. No, he's terrified. I'd, I'd call it terrified. <laughs> terrified, Gary. <laughs> but a couple of times, Bristle, he, he wandered into this space <laughs> yeah. and it provided us with magnificent radio.